Hello there, everybody. It's me, Noct, and I'm back with another episode on Infinite Realms. And today we start our episode at the grave again. Common just died. <laughs> and with all this death, we should see something cheer us up. Yeah, I got nothing to cheer us up. Wait, no, I do have something to cheer us up. Over here. Rex took some hay bales from me and he left us back. Thank you, Rexy. Um, although, <laughs> I think like, three hay bales isn't worth three diamonds. It's not very uh, proportional in. Like, expenses. And I know it's been a while. And the reason it's been a while is because I have been doing some off-camera mining. Yeah, that's right. You see this? Check this. Full netherite enchanted. I'm rich. And I kind of left you guys out of the journey, but I'm sorry. JK, this is some other... I'm, it's totally not an overused joke or anything. It's not like anybody's ever done that before. Ooh, I have an extra chest. Do I seriously not have any acacia logs? Wow, okay. Here's my real armor. Um, I've read the signs, but I'll read these with you guys again. So, this is left by Common or Yeti? I don't know who, but there is a boat race. And, well, I'm sorry. A go-kart race. And we're going to be racing. I don't know what's in here. Oh, racing helmets. Ooh, ooh. Noise. So I'm going to be taking this out. And I destroyed the instructions. I don't know where to go. Darn it. Well, I'll see you there if I manage to get there. I am here at the Circuits de Infinite. And, well, this is right behind Yeti's base. This place looks awesome. I haven't gone through yet. I just arrived. And, well, let's read this together. Welcome to Circuit de Infinite. Grab a boat and helmet and set the fastest time around the track. Record your run and post your best time in the Hall of Fame to win. Official runs must use the full course. No shortcutting, no potions, or other augments allowed. Yeti, don't use big words, please. Time stops and starts across the line. Have fun. What's in here? Boats and helmets. Oh, and they have an extra helmet. I brought my own helmet. I'm ready. But I want to show you guys the Hall of Fame. I did look at the Hall of Fame. So basically it, it's this. And we each have our own like color helmet. I'm of course orange. As you see, uh, my color theme is orange. And honestly, these all kind of fit the person the best. Like, we could each have our own wool color. It looks so well. Works so well. Except for Striker and Brad. Theirs are used, though. Wait, no. Maybe. Is this lime? Let's see. Whoa. The tops of these look so cool. Oh my gosh, look at Yetis. The top of Yetis looks so cool. I think Yeti might take the crown on the coolest top of the helmet. That looks so cool. Mine looks kind of cool, too. Because it's all colorful and stuff. I like my helmet. Oh, wait. I can look at it. Is that a duck? Oh, my gosh, that's a duck. Yeti remembered. I told him I love ducks. Well, I really have to do good on this run. I'm going to practice first before going on my official run. Just to hear the lava. Uh-oh. Well, um, go, I guess. Dude, dude, dude. 
Wait, no. This isn't like Mario Kart. I'm just gonna go. Please don't sue me, Nintendo. Oh, this is bad. I am so bad at this. <laughs> Wait, hold up. I might have to... Oof. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. I have to practice so much. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? I have a choice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeti? Yeti? Okay, good. I was about to say Yeti. I'm gonna have to. Oh, wait, no. This is like the crossroads. Okay, I have to go straight. Okay, so then you go this way, then this way, then this way. This is horrible. I saw that other people's times are in like around 40 seconds and it's like, wow guys, you completed it in under two minutes. And I'm just chilling in the sand pits. Although I'm surprised that ice isn't melting. I think this is packed ice. Oof, this is so bad. This is my first time through though. I'm gonna practice once or twice before going. Oof, wait, no, no, that way, that way. Uh, no, I'm not going, I'm supposed to go backward. I can just imagine the little ghosty that comes down and is like, go the other way, go the other way. Okay, so now that I've uh, did that atrocity, um, I may or may not time that on screen, who knows. It depends on if I figure out how to do it in editing. But, um, I'm just gonna practice until I get it down at least a little bit. Is this a stadium? The stadium's literally facing the start and end, it's not the track. But this is actually really cool. Well done, Yeti. I'm gonna practice and we're gonna see how well I can do after a bunch of practice. Alrighty, so I am ready to do this. Um, I won't be speaking much because it's kind of distracting and I'm gonna be doing this one in first person point of view, but this is my final run, I think, I hope. I don't wanna take any more takes. Okay, that was not the best of starts. Okay, that, that was pretty fast. I just hope I don't get stuck here. Ah. This is pretty good. Hi, zombie. What's up? That zombie's been here for a while. So you get the groan every time you go past that area. Okay, that was really bad. I'm slowing down a lot. This is well over 50 seconds. I just want to be under 50 seconds. Alright. Well, I guess it's time to see how I did, I guess. I don't know. It would be really bad if this run that I'm doing right now, just for fun, is better than my actual run. Okay, uh, I just timed it on my own, and, well, my time that I got was 0, 46, 09. That is what I got. Everybody's putting my time, so I'm going to do that too, just so I don't feel left out. I mean, I'm glad I'm not in last place. Sorry, Striker, but you did just get like 29 seconds, so that's not actually his best time. And, oh, I beat Yeti. Okay. I did not beat Matt. I beat Torex. Brad and Common are just untouchable. 
at this point. Well, that was the IR circuit. Circuit for you. And, well, thanks to Yeti for making this amazing course in his... Wait, that's orange. What's in here? Oh, it's an Easter egg. Okay. Uh, thank you to Yeti for making this in his base. This is his base right now. And this is so awkward. <laughs> yeah. Lost Yeti. I've been wanting to do that. I just got Optifine. I'm like, zooming in. I'm gonna zoom in on Yeti. Now we are going to be working on a building at the base. I've laid down the foundation and like I had to, I wasn't satisfied where it was at first. So I ended up moving it up by like two blocks, which was fun. That's very much so. And uh, now we've got this. You can, yeah, okay. I just slept right, yeah. I don't really use that often, so that's kind of new for me. Uh, you're going in there. And basically, what this building is, I don't know quite yet what I'm going to be using it for. I say with a voice crack. Uh, but... I do know it's going to be huge. As you can see from the outline already. And like, it's gonna go up even farther than where that is, and it's gonna go down, and it's gonna be looking so cool. Cause I have it planned out in a creative world. And ideas for this building, which I've been thinking about, was either a storage area, like the main storage unit. I know I had planned to put it in that mountain, but I sort of wanna keep it in a separate building especially one as big as the one that I'm about to make but also this is gonna have another purpose which is being like the central thing because I have said that I want to do a skyblock like thing but I don't want to do just a skyblock because I feel like that has been done so like sort of an ancient or not ancient but like pre-modern type city i don't think that exists pre-modern i'm not even sure if that's actually a word or not and i'm actually really excited because although i don't have all the blocks required for this yet i feel like we can get a lot of it done or some of it at least there requires a lot of stairs and I definitely do not have enough cobblestone to smelt up and convert it all into stairs that was two stacks right there it didn't even fill two layers of the ring wow that was so few but since I have a design, I'm going to keep doing periodic updates as I build it in survival. I'm going to need a stack. Wait, let's see. Right here. So this requires six and I get eight. Ooh. Wait, what else am I being cheated on? <laughs> okay, not that. Wait, if this is six to eight. I think this is worth crafting it up. And we're gonna craft up a few more in the stairs. Okay, I might leave some stairs there for now. But I will see you in a few minutes, especially since I have to fill out this entire floor. Oof. I don't have the floor planned out yet. Just that exterior and a teeny bit of the interior. Well, I'll see you in a couple seconds, which is going to be like 
a lot more than a few seconds for me, but you get the gist. A little progress check in the middle. Um, not exactly the middle. I'm nowhere near done. I mean, it looks like it, but I've only designed this side and that side. I still have those two sides left to go. They're just plain and empty over there. So basically, I wanted to show you guys what design I was thinking of that I liked. It looks sort of like a cyclops that's about to smile and has a unibrow. I guess all cyclops have unibrows, but <laughs> yeah, that's basically what the entrance looks like. And right now, I'm no longer going to be working on the detailings. I'm kind of tired of that now. I'm going to be working on the base, the part that's going to actually make this look like it's not just floating on scaffolding on one corner. It's going to actually look sturdy. Oh, I didn't show you guys the inside. You might wonder what the water is. So this is a basic design that I was wonder that, that I was thinking of on the inside. Of course, over here is going to all be glass, but I don't know where, uh, I don't have really much glass so I'm gonna have to go sand farming for that but the thing is someone lives on that other side of that desert so I don't want to do it somewhere where both of us can see and like ruin the aesthetic so I'm gonna try and find a sand desert yes because there are different types of deserts there is there are so now what I'm gonna be doing is detailing Basically, this is all the outer ring is going to be turned into, I just did something bad. Okay, there. This is all going to be turned into smooth stone. Like that. I can't reach. Oh my gosh. Why is it so far? And that's going to start looking cool once I add more of the design around. Boop, boop, boop. And, well, I'm going to be doing a mini time lapse of this stuff. I hope I have enough stone. It would kind of suck if I don't. I don't. I most definitely do not. I'm going to go get some more stone and I'm going to do a mini time lapse from my perspective. Alrighty, now we just have to put the finishing touches on this. I know I forgot to record most of it. Uh, I do want those back because I will be using them later. And then what happens here is that one and That's the first one, right? No, no, that's the second one. That means the two middle ones, right? And then the one with two. Okay. So we basically do this all around. But this is mostly for the nighttime view. So I'm gonna leave this as is for now after I put 
these two in. So the last one's left. Or not the last one's left, but we can go look at this from afar now. Ooh, it's gonna be nighttime soon, so I wanna look at this during the day and then once during the night with a little bit of lighting in. So basically after that time lapse, what I did was I added a base to the building. Go a little bit higher. It's looking good. Especially in the area. Since it's so big, this area, with that being big, with not too many details down there, it makes it look kind of sturdy and, like, it's got purpose and, like, it's not going to fall over or anything. Should I go from up there? Might as well. We'll also get to see it during night because the sun is setting. Yeah, it's behind that mountain. So basically, in this building, I've decided I want to put a villager trading sort of place. Because if you remember the big cobble circle, it was kind of high up in the air. And it's kind of, it's hollow underneath that circle or underneath the floor that's in right now. So there can be all like the technicalities, the zombie and stuff like that. And there will be an air there's an area inside and like I want the villagers heads sticking up and like you can trigger a piston and then like the villagers come up and trigger it and the villagers go down and you can trade with them and stuff like that and it's gonna be the best villagers and yeah, we're waiting for the sun to, sun to set let's go over here where I've put the lanterns in. It's looking good. I know I have a lot of torches around so you don't get the glowing effect. But I'm thinking individually that building's gonna look so cool and it's so big so it's gonna look even cool because it's gonna go up even more. Maybe it's about there-ish. Maybe a little bit shorter. And it's looking good with the sea lanterns because you know, light and all when it's dark. I'm liking this. And the mobs are spawning. Great. Well, that's about as much time as we have for today. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.